Hey everyone, I'm Connie Henriquez and you're watching Start Loving Life TV and I'm excited this episode is about online dating. Now if you're single, I'm sure you either hate online dating or you love it, but I will tell you from my experience in speaking to clients, you probably hate it. So let me tell you the benefits of online dating because I feel like very often people have the wrong idea behind online dating. And if you watch my other videos that I'm going to be making shortly about how to attract the right partner and different ways to go about meeting someone, you're going to get more insight. But I just wanted to touch a little bit on online dating. The first thing you want to remember about online dating is that it's a fabulous resource that we have now that we didn't have years ago that allows you to sit at home on your couch and meet people. Wow, like how cool is that, right? So that's the benefit of online dating. But the other thing about online dating is, and this is what I always said, and this is what I'd always say to clients who are maybe single and they're looking to get out there and they haven't had a date or they haven't met anyone that they can go out on a date and they kind of feel like they're stuck. I always suggest online dating for this purpose only. It gets you out there, okay? And so what I mean by that is, you go on different sites, you can do match. I always recommend probably doing sites that you actually pay for because like on Plenty of Fish, not that that's bad, but on the free sites, you probably get a lot of people that aren't that serious. So depending on what you're looking for, maybe you like that or maybe you don't. But I always suggest that the paying sites tend to be a little better, especially from my experience. And I have to say, I'll be honest, I've had really great experience with online dating, but I'll tell you about that a little differently and why maybe I had better experiences than most. So I always suggest like a match.com, eHarmony I did and I wanted to blow my brains out just for the fact that you had to answer a million questions and it was like a, such a tedious long process. Not to say it's not great, but for me it wasn't good. So the thing about online dating is when you're single and you wanna start dating, when you actually sign up to an online dating site, you actually say to the universe, I'm ready to meet somebody, right? So you're actually making that first step. And I'm saying that because maybe you're in a position where you don't have a big circle of single friends, so it's kind of hard to go out and meet people because you're not gonna go out with your you know, your couple friends because it might make things difficult. So let's say you have a small circle of single friends or that you don't, and so it's hard to get out. And so that's why online dating is a really good tool because it gets you out virtually if you can't necessarily get out physically. So that's the first thing. The second thing you have to remember about online dating is that it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be fun, okay? So that means you gotta lighten up a little bit. Don't go on online dating with the idea that you're going to meet the one. I'll be honest with you, you probably won't. I'm not gonna say you can't, I'm not gonna say you won't, really, but the chances are you probably won't and that's okay. The point is when you do online dating, you wanna do it for the fun of getting out. You wanna get out, you wanna do online dating for the fun of meeting different people. And I'm gonna tell you right now why that's gonna be important, why it's important to meet a lot of different people. The difference is that you wanna get really clear about the person that you wanna hang out with. And the great thing about online dating versus let's say a bar scene, it's hard when you're in a bar, what are you gonna meet one person maybe, maybe two if you're lucky, and even that's rare. Where on online dating, you get you have an opportunity to meet many people and you have an opportunity to go on dates with different people and meet different personalities and people with different professions and you learn different things about people. So it's a really nice format to get out there and meet people. That's the first thing. The second thing, and this is the biggest thing that girls and guys screw this up royally and totally and I'm going to tell you please do not do this and I'm going to tell you exactly why they go on a date hoping this person is the one and then they leave discouraged because the person shows 10 different things that they didn't like or 10 different red flags which I'm sure is a valid red flags but they then they leave discouraged and I'm going to tell you why that's a big big mistake because what you're doing is you're focusing on what the person doesn't have. So for example, hypothetical, you go on a date and a guy opens a door for you. Like when a guy opens a door for you, that's pretty damn sexy, okay? So maybe he's not great looking, maybe the conversation wasn't great, but let's say he also was very interested in you and he, you know, he brought up, he asked you a lot of questions 
and he was curious about what you do and he was very courteous to the waiter and so let's say there were some good things going on but let's say he wasn't attractive and you know maybe he wasn't great in conversation but he did ask you a lot of questions okay so you leave you're like oh my god i'm never gonna find the one but what you just did was you just negated all the qualities he did have that you were looking for and the reason why this is important and it's but i don't want to i don't want to use the f word just quite yet but why it's huge is because you put out to the universe what you wanted in a partner and so the universe is going to give you different people and certain people are going to have some of what you want and some of what you don't want and if you're able to leave a date and say holy crap you know what he wasn't great looking his conversation skills stunk but how cool he opened the car door for me like that's sexy you know he was really nice to the waiter and really courteous like that's really cool like that's what i want you know he asked me a lot of questions about me like i really want someone who's interested in me and if you were to focus on all the qualities he had that you did like the universe is going to line you up with the more people with those great qualities ah that's the punchline. you got it So when you go online dating and you go on a date and the person doesn't have everything you want, yeah, it's probably not a shocker, but don't focus on what the person doesn't have and don't make them the one anyway. That's a whole different video. Don't go out on a date and make them the one on the first date. That's for deck. That's like setting up for failure and giving away all your power and making a girl insecure or a guy insecure really early on, which is something you never want to do. So when you go on a date, walk away from the date and you pull out all the things that you liked about the guy, even if he was hideous looking, even if he didn't even look like his picture. But if you focus on the qualities that he did have and you say to the universe, hell yeah, I'm getting closer because he did certain things that I really want and that are really important to me and that I really want in a partner, then you're respecting and focusing on those positive attributes. And then the universe can line you up with other people in the future with those qualities. And just to top it off, and this is just a quick side note, when you talk to your girlfriend the next day and she's like, oh, how was your date? Don't then repeat and say, I hate online dating. He did this, this, and this. He has 50 kids. He's been married 50 times. Like, don't do that, okay? Don't do that. Because then you're just, like, you're just totally negating everything I just said. So what you want to do is say, you know what? He was really nice guy. Um, he opened the car door for me. He was, you know, he asked me a lot of questions. He was really interested in me. But you know what? He really wasn't my type. And even though he's a really nice guy, you know, I just don't feel like a connection. Simple. Don't make it into something bigger than it's not, okay? Very simple. And then your friends will be like, oh, cool, and then move on. Don't go on a whole story or tangent for 20 minutes about how he was a douche or a tool or whatever, or online dating sucks. You don't want to do that. You want to focus on what's working. And kudos to you. If you attracted some qualities in a guy that you really were looking for, then you want to congratulate yourself. And by dude, I freaking attracted a guy who opened a car door for me. That's pretty sexy. I attracted a guy who was interested in me. That's pretty amazing. So give yourself some credit on what you attract, okay? And have fun with online dating. And please subscribe to my video if you love it because I give Start Loving Life advice for free because the thing is, everyone should start loving life. It's so, so easy and it's so simple and yet not many people know about it. So if you think this video can help someone, please share it and you please subscribe to my channel, okay? Thanks so much, guys. Peace out. Ciao.